the man I speak of is Tim Burton. Do you know any of his movies? Some of his movies he is most famous for is Edward Scissorhands, Beetlejuice, and Batman. Today we'll explore the world of Tim Burton, his life, family, career, and much more. Born Timothy Walter Burton of Burbank, California on August 25th, 1958. Biography.com states, as a child, Burton was engrossed with the classic horror films of Roger Corman, many of which featured a screen villain, Vincent Price. Tim idolized the great Mr. Price, and he was an American actor. Some of his movies were House of Wax in 1953, House on the Haunted Hill in 1959, and he was known for playing the scientist that built Edward in Edward Scissorhands in 1990. Burton loved his work so much that in 1992, Burton released an award-winning short film, Vincent, which paid homage to the enduring work of his childhood idol. Burton majored in animation in California Institute of Arts. Before becoming a director, a producer, and a screenwriter, he worked for Disney as an apprentice animator. That job lasted less than a year, and he grew tired and decided to get out on his own by creating visual striking films that blended themes of fantasy and horror. His style of directing is called Gothic Suburbia. Gothic Suburbia combines the 19th and the 20th century visuals and images to create a gothic sort of film that has a dark implications hidden in a children's movie that can be enjoyed by people of all ages. Britannica.com says that Tim was married one time to Lena Giese, pictured with Tim at the premiere of Batman. Lena was a German artist and a special effects technician. They married in 1989 and divorced in 91. They didn't have any children. Then, in 2001, he met Helen Bonham Carter, the set of Planet of the Apes, which he directed, and she starred in. The two had a boy, Billy, in 2003, and a girl, Nell, in 2007. By 2014, the romance had fizzled out after 13 years of separation. The Tim made a name for himself. His net worth estimated $130 million. Not too bad for someone doing something they love. He was the director of over 37 films in his lifetime. After his short film in 82 about Vincent Price, he goes on to film Frank and Weenie, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, and Beetlejuice from 1984 to 1988. After forming his own production company, Burton directed a lavish production, Batman, in 89, and then that had grossed over $100 million in the first 10 days, and then came, in 1990, Edward Scissorhands. In 1993, he produced an animated musical, Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas which is my all-time favorite movie. As I was researching about Tim, I found out on wikipedia.org that the film started out as a poem in 1982. While he was working for Walt Disney Productions as an animator, over the years, Burton thought about the poem and he returned to it. And in 1990, he made a deal with Disney and initially released the film through Touchstone Pictures because Disney thought it would be too dark and scary for the children. But over the years, Disney reissued, re reissued it through Walt Disney Pictures and then re-released through them. I can keep on going about the movies that he has done, hit after hit, but I'll let you look up a few and let you see just what movies that he had done. You would be surprised. In 2000. 9 and 2010 at the New York City Museum of Modern Arts, Burton exhibited over 700 drawings, paintings, 
and other artworks. So here is a few of his pictures that he had done and it was put in a museum. So I told you a little bit about this brilliant American actor or director. Does anyone have any questions about the world of Tim Burton? I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have. But before I go, I want to leave a little quote from Tim. Visions are worth fighting for. Why spend your life making someone else's dream? And I would like to thank you for your time and goodbye.